Hello and welcome to another Carnegie Digital Byte. Today we're going to be talking about Google Optimize. In order to do this, you're going to need four things. You'll need a Google Optimize account, Google Tag Manager account, Google Analytics account, and what you want to test. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at what it is we're going to be testing. To do this, we're going to look at our Carnegie Demo Higher Ed site. And we're going to be looking at changing the color of a request for information button. So here's our page. You're going to make sure you copy it because you're going to paste it in later. And this is the call to action we're going to be testing, doing an A-B test using Google Optimize. So the next thing you need to do is go to Google Tag Manager. You're going to make sure that you have an account and that you can get to the appropriate container. Next, we're going to open up and go to Google Optimize. You're going to want to go into your container. In this case, we've called this the Clarity Demo Site, and this will be the container that we're using uh, for Google Optimize to be able to do this test. And this is the interface you'll be presented with uh, in Google Optimize. And what we're going to be doing today is we will be creating an experiment. Um, and so to do that, you're going to click on Create an Experiment. You want to name your experiment. Uh, in this case, we're going to call it RFI button color. Really, this is testing, you know, I think sort of that age-old question of what should we make the color of our button? Should it be red? Should it be blue? Should it be green? Well, this is one way you can start to understand and uh, figure out what the best way to do it is. So you're going to create a new variant. Give your variant a name. In this case, we're going to call that variant um, RFI button color um, change because that's what we're going to be changing. So you add that variant in. It's going to automatically give you 50-50 because we're doing an A-B test. You can change those things uh, and you can do things to make it more advanced. So remember that. But this is just a basic demo and we're just uh, starting off. So we're doing a simple A-B 50-50 uh, percent of your traffic test. The next thing that you're going to make sure is that you have uh, the Google Optimized Chrome extension because in order to edit your page you need to have that. So you're going to want to save and continue. Um, this is going to take you to your page where you're going to then um, start your test, change what it is you want to test. We're going to be changing the color of the button, but you can change anything on the page pretty much. So we're going to actually change this color to orange. Uh, there's some studies out there that show that orange uh, is this sort of this magical color to get people to take action. Um, we're just doing this as you know as an example for fun. Uh, so we're going to use orange as our uh, test color and you can see that you select the element it's pretty simple uh, and then you go into color and you uh, change the color with the sliders until you get to something that you want to use so here we go we have orange once you're done and you can see you can change all these sizes and everything you're gonna save it and then click done and that's going to take you back into Google Optimize uh, the container. Uh, the next thing you're going to do is uh, give it a description and a hypothesis what it is you're trying to test. And uh, depending on what you're doing, you may want to link it to your Google Analytics. You're going to then save. And then before you uh, start that experiment, 
you are going to want to make sure that what you are testing uh, is ready to go. And so it confirms that with you. We need to make sure that we properly implement the optimized code via Google Tag Manager. Okay, so before we do that, we got to make sure we put that in uh, the container. So we're actually going to go do that right now. So to do that, you um, go over to Google Tag Manager. Uh, you go to Tags. You're going to add a new tag. First, you want to name your tag. In this case, Google Optimize is the name of this tag. And then you want to configure your tag. And to configure your tag, it is one of the built-in tags. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get your Google Analytics uh, tracking ID. And that links your experiments with Google Analytics. So that way you can actually uh, see the results and see your information and testing as it happens within the Google Analytics interface. So you can go in and get your tracking ID. It's in Administration under Property and then copy and paste it in. And then you also need your optimized container ID. So you go back to Google Optimize and get your um, container ID from the snippet, from view snippet. So you copy that. Um, you can hit next, done, cancel. Um, those are just giving you the instructions, but since we're doing it in Google Tag Manager, it does it all for us. So now we're gonna paste that in. So there's our optimized container code, and then we're going to trigger it. And in this case, we are going to trigger it for all pages. This will actually allow us to do any experiment on any other uh, pages later on if we want to. Um, you have to make sure that you publish it. Um, publish it again. It's up to you if you want to leave a description of what you're doing here or not. For this demo, we're just sort of quickly going through this. So then you can go back over to uh, Google Optimize. And now, before you start that experiment, having Google uh, Optimize set up in Tag Manager, you can test the variance. So to do that, you'll click on Web Preview, which will take you over to your site that you're testing. And it will actually uh, let you view what it is you want to test. And because we see it, we know that our container tag has been properly implemented and our tests are ready to go. You can also look at your original just to make sure there isn't anything um, interfering with what you're trying to test and it looks perfect. So I think at this point um, we are good to go. You can start that experiment. It's also good to remember to um, turn off the preview and you just do that by going up to the top of the right hand side of the page and click turn off preview and there you go we have set up this experiment uh, if you have any questions feel free to reach out